This is a typical brick. You watch, I'll get it all wrong. <laughs> Catch myself a light. <laughs> it may be a bit boring, but we're sort of doing it so we... Remember. So we remember what we had to go through. Well, not, not, not had to go through, but you know. Don't forget the little things. Here's our diet of choice. Okay, little 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 bull ants around, mate. Little bull ants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really everywhere, but I just noticed in. I'll keep my eyes open. Bag. Keep an eye on you, uh, Jake. You get quite a nasty bite. Yep, I'll keep my eyes open. Oh, that was very exciting for everyone at home, I'm sure, watching me look for bull ants. Well, I think it would be quite interesting for us to remember. Oh, hiding from ants, yeah. I don't think the Billy Boyle's ever been filmed, actually. Like uh, cooking a meal. Oh, there you go. It's so first... This one's for Jack. <laughs> Our very complex cooking method <laughs> using tent bags to stop the pot falling into the fire. <laughs> and if Dave sets himself on fire, we have to send it into funny home videos or something. <laughs> That'd Two be hilarious. Guys trying to be adventurous and. <laughs> And uh, our lovely cutlery. Woo. And while he's doing that, I'll just quickly break to a nature shot. That's where we came from. And this is where we're going. Over there somewhere, the nudie gate. We hope to arrive, we've done about 20 k's today. Time is, what is it, about 11 o'clock, just after 11? Yeah, about 11.20 I think. Oh. And so we're just gonna stop for lunch for a couple hours and um, yeah, hopefully try and hit about 30, 35 today. So we're just gonna, um, so we can go through nudie gate tomorrow and um, yeah, pretty much connect, start connecting up with the track, which should be good. How's that, eh? There's lunch. <laughs> That. And basically just keep putting, um, the billy has a little, the billy has a little hole under it. So we just basically keep feeding sticks in there to keep the fire going. And, uh, yeah. It's very quick really, isn't it, Mark? It is. It's efficient. It boils water. Um, sounds like an ad for it. <laughs> Boils water in three minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your rink, your, your, your rinky ditch. <laughs> we'll send you some free steak knives if you, um, yeah, anyway. I think it's far quicker than setting up a uh, gas burner. Mm. Well, we tried that at Broom Hill. Um, we tried the gas burner versus the, um, the billy boiler and the, um, this one actually um, yeah. won it out more or less, so. And I think I'm about to run out of tape. Really? Well, it's only a 30 minute one, this first oh. one, so. And it is day eight, so. Yes. Yeah, so I may as well just record to the end. So you get four minutes of watching food four cook. Four watching <laughs> food cook. Well, what can we say as we speak to one another? Well, I better not say anything what we were speaking about this morning. What's Should that? I? <laughs> What's that? Truckloads of Swedish women. <laughs> the truckloads of Swedish women. I'm realising now my fantasy is not going to come true. Unless you're out there. 
Now it's, now it's becoming a personal ad. <laughs> One middle-aged adventurer yes, yes. <laughs> seeking busload of Swedish women. <laughs> <laughs> For massage and skin dipping. <laughs> no, I was thinking about the um, cat. Oh, yeah, no, no. Best That's, not to... Uh, no, don't divulge best that. Best not to divulge anything. And yeah, there's a... And I may as well use the last bit of tape to just capture the, the scenery path there. You can just see, just past where we're camping, there's a big wheat field. And they're just, they're just huge out here. They just keep going. Sorry, the trees are sort of in the way, but you can sort of get the idea. It just goes on. Don't film here now, mate. The fire's gone out. Fire's gone out. <laughs> Emergency. <laughs> um, I should probably help rather than filming. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're helping enough. Now, boys, don't do this at home. But I imagine you will do it at home. What's that? Use the billy boil to make your own little billy boiler and let me say it's a lot of fun. <laughs> You're supposed to be convincing them not to do not it. Not to do it, I know, but they're boys and boys will do it anyway. And then they'll get caught because they'll do it out the back of their suburban house and burn the shed down. Yeah. And I'll say Mr McKern said it was alright. <laughs> And that's about the end of the tape, so goodbye RJ, he's asleep again, and goodbye from me. Actually, can you give a quick look at the, of how he's lying? Oh, uh, it's the pose. It's the pose. Very dignified. Yes. It's the pose. And he doesn't care, does he? <laughs> Do you RJ? No, he doesn't care. No, he's, he's knackered like the rest of us. All right, bye-bye. Ciao. Okay, here we are at bush camp. End of day on day eight. Is it day eight? Yes, lost count already. Um, yeah, we just pulled off to the side of the road somewhere. 200 kilometers done. We just broke 200 Ks, um, which is pretty awesome. And um, this is the spot we've decided to camp. Just have a look at this view. It's some um, it's some research station or something apparently, but it's just um, it's just awesome. It's gonna be great to wake up with that actually. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything much more. Um, do you have anything you want to say today? Or? No, not really. RJ yeah. is sitting in the back of the car. We have finally worked out a way for him to uh, take some rest. Look at him going. Hey. He's just happy to be off his feet, I think. Yes, and he's got his harness off, and this is what he does every day. Oh, he's happy. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Are you happy? <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that then.